Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your monthly intuitive forecast for Libra for the month of April. So, the first card that I have pulled for you is unconditional love. And with this, the word gentleness just came through. The gentleness is the strength. That's the quote that just came through. And from Nature Oracle, we have willow, veils parting, and also oak strong be strong oh shit see be strong but gentle that word gentle just came through wow it just repeated again and then from the rider weight we have eight of swords page of swords and the world card okay so the word gentle the gentleness is the strength the gentleness is the strength wow that's so funny that i did say that did i not just say that here that's interesting um so the first, yeah, the first word that's coming through is gentleness. I see this as an ease into this next phase in your life. I, For the month of April, something is definitely coming to a completion. The cycle is being completed, and that's obvious because that's the world card. The world card represents that. It's the cycle. You know, all of what it is that we've gone through, all of what it is that we've done comes to a head. It comes to this moment where maybe you get the reward or you get the punishment, but either way, it all comes to this one moment. That's the one thing that I want you to see with the oak card is the fact that the oak, it starts from a tiny acorn and then it builds up into this huge tree that lasts so long and represents strength, but it's not something that is forced. It's something that you need to have patience with and that comes over time. Now, the thing too that I'm seeing and that the message that it is that I'm receiving is by being gentle you and being gentle with others, but more importantly with yourself, I'm seeing you allowing your, it's like you not forcing the, the culmination. It's you not forcing the outcome. That's one thing too. I don't know why this is coming through, but it's coming through really strongly right now. It's almost like for the month of April Libra, you're you're almost forcing a yes or a no, which is so funny because Libra, you are the first one to not be able to make a decision. You're the one to kind of sit on this fence and kind of want to go into this gray area. But so it's funny to me that I'm seeing this and it's like, why are you forcing a resolution? Why are you forcing an answer, a yes or no? Maybe the answer that it is that you're receiving is neither yes nor no, but it's almost like this middle ground. But either way, sorry, my tag just popped out. But either way, I'm seeing these veils kind of parting. I'm seeing this, the answer, the resolution kind of making itself known, not because you forced it, but because you allowed it to manifest. You allowed it to unfold. The other thing too is that it's really important that you're focusing on or working with your intuition for the month of April because logically things aren't going to necessarily make sense. The answer again isn't going to be black or white or what you need to do or what you need to hear is not necessarily black or white. It's almost like this third option or third or fourth option. And the reason why it's important that you don't go with logic is because logically you're not going to know to think to look for those things. Do you see how logic connects to that? So you logically, you're not going to know from your mind to think, to even look in those directions for those things because it's not, the answer is not a logical response. It's actually intuitive. So because the answer is not logical and it's not something that you could fathom and figure out for yourself all by yourself, you have to be open instead of forcing it, but you have to be open to flowing with whatever this third, fourth, fifth option is that's gonna be coming in on the horizon. And the way to to help you to get to that or the way to help you to, to make a decision is again through your intuition and not through your logic alone. Now there are some signs that are being guided to work with their logic and that's all well and good, but you're not one of them. <laughs> you're not one of them. The other thing too is that it's very important that we focus on this energy of the oak, which is taking your time and not forcing anything, being gentle. But you being gentle does not mean that your intention or what you want or that you are weak. It's just knowing that it that it's enough, knowing that it is strong all by itself. And that is going to, again, part the, the veil so that you can see things clearly and you'll know what it is that's next. 
you know, that needs to happen next. And that's where I'm seeing with the world card and these answers, you know, coming in for you, these messages that is that's coming in through you are coming in for you. And the last thing is love yourself and others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. Again, it may not make sense to you. It may not be what it is that you're expecting, but Libra, I really want you to stay open, to stay gentle, to not force, to really connect with this vulnerable, softer side. And I think that you're going to receive more um, from the month of April and from your opportunities around the month of April than if you force and try to come to a conclusion all by yourself. Okay? So that's what it is that I'm seeing for you. I hope that that message makes sense. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you love this video and you want to see more. Hit the subscription um, or subscribe button. Turn on your notifications so that you are notified when a new video comes in. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.